Sherma. Yeah. You're not going to win! He's right, you know. Hello there, how are you? Hello. Welcome to Big Brother's Little Brother, hope you're very well. And tonight's show, Victor's here, everyone. <laughs> We're going to be putting his gangster style to the test with uh, Junior Simpson. We're focusing on Dan today. Dan's brother and friend are here. <laughs> Christian and Steph. They're going to be telling us why they think Dan, why they think Dan's going to walk next week. But first we kick off, as we always do, but a couple of times we haven't, but mainly we do, with Little Brother's Big News. OK, it seems that Big Brother's self-confessed red-blooded male could be on the turn. Or at least Shell seems to think so. Take a look at this. You need a shave, Dan. You know, you're looking a bit rough. Is he? Yeah, you're looking a bit... The girls, the girls like it. A bit rugged. Right. No, it does. It beats the makeup. I just can't stand the chemistry. I've got to go to do something. What is it? Yeah. The chemistry. They're just staring at each other. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah. What's she saying? What's the problem? You guys are just staring at each other. You're just staring at him. <laughs> well, he's... Staring at him, and I was just like, no. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm going to stubble. Pardon? I'm going to stubble. Yeah, that'll make Jason happy. Uh, Stu has been at it again, despite being reprimanded by, by Michelle about spending too much time in the kitchen with Michelle baking bread, if you know what I mean. Uh, he took his life in his hands earlier today and defied her yet again. His girlfriend is not a happy bunny. Oh, is there any needing to be done? Yeah, if you want. Defo, how many slices are you making? I'm going to get it, is that one done? You can rest the beans. Oh. Is there anything else I can get involved with? Um, oh, well, if you want to help do the lasagna sheets in a wee minute. Yeah, I'm up for that. <laughs> hey. I know who your favourite Michelle is. I know who it is. Uh, today, the housemates were given their new weekly task. It seems they'll all be getting very close over the next few days, as Big Brother has ordered they're all chained together in pairs. As you can imagine, Jason was less than impressed. OK, housemates, this week's task requires housemates to work in pairs. Each pair will be made up of, of one male and one female housemate. Each pair will be joined together for the duration of the task. Okay. Pair one, Daniel, 14 stone, 6 pounds. <gasps> Nadia, <laughs> 11, oh, 9 stone. <laughs> pair two, Jason, 13 stone, 6 pounds. Michelle, 10 stone, 6, 5 pounds. Pair three, Stuart and Chell, 12 stone, 6 pounds, 9 pounds. 1 stone, 6 pounds. I'm kind of do, I can't do this task at all. This is my worst nightmare, this task, honestly. Uh, so, to confirm, over the next three days, Dan and Nadia, Jason and Michelle, and Stuart and Shell will be spending their days chained together. That was Little Brother's Big News. <laughs> On yesterday's Cool BBLB, we were inundated uh, with questions for Victor. As usual, we only got through about three of them. With that in mind, today's Cool BBLB simply is ask Victor another question. Here's number to call. Victor claims to have gangster style. Comedian Junior Simpson is an expert in the field and says he thinks Victor is the world's most rubbish gangster. They're both here to fight this, their corners in a big ass hammer. <gasps> Hello, girls. Look, there's some girls in here. Check this. Hello, you all right? Are you hanging out with Victor and Junior in there? Dear Lord. Hello, boys. Hey, well, how you doing, well, man? What are you doing man? at the other end of the hammer? What's well, going on? Well, I just... Doesn't make any sense at all. Invite a couple of honeys to kind of <laughs> join us, you know? <laughs> what's kicking big, it, chilling. Big fan of that. How are we doing, lads? All right? Not too shabby. Oh, Excellent. Now, uh, you're going to talk to us about gangster style here, Junior. Mm. What exactly do you have to have to... To possess the gangster style. You've got to have confidence, that's number one, you know what I mean? There's no point in putting the, the threads on if you can't really carry it off, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But also, it's about how you adorn yourself. Rings, chains, you know what I mean? You've got to have, like, the diamond in your ear and all that kind of stuff. It's got to be flexing. That's a big ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, with that in mind, Victor, have you got what it, you got what it takes? Come on. <sighs> 
I was born with it, you know. Oh, I, was, I was born with it. I wish you know I could back you up on this one, bro, but nah. <laughs> We're going to have a look at the Evans. First up, let's take a look at the image. You've got a picture of P. Diddy here. He's yeah. the original gangster, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay, there you see, he is. There you, have, you see, big coat, right? yeah. a coat which is about three sizes too big for him, mm -hmm. but because of his personality, he can flex he carries it, that you know off. what I'm saying? The hat, the shades, everything is, is working. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how Victor compares. Yeah. <laughs> let's have a look at this. Oh, yeah. the Jimmy yeah. Jammies! Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Now, Victor, was a take there? Was that, was that trying to get a, a different, a new gangster style? Put it this way, yeah. <laughs> P Diddy looks more like a pimp. Okay. Than a gangster. There's, okay. there's, there's a difference, yeah. That what, what I was rocking there uh -huh. was gangster. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? It was like, look, this is how I am. This is where I'm wearing it. And if anyone's got a problem with it, you can you can bring do your business from your own bedroom at home. That's what you're saying. <laughs> so exactly. that, oh, I see. So, but, but basically, the, the pajama bottoms look like you've had them since you were 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 don't get me wrong, they were, they were, they were a little bit, you know, looks like a lot of they got sprayed on a little, but yeah. at the end of the day, I felt comfortable in it, and I felt confident enough that I could pull it off. And at the end of the day, people are running out and buying those now. They're <laughs> really? They're hotcakes now. Really? Victor's winning Don't it. Let's get me get them, for Christmas. Man. I do not want those for Christmas. Thank you. All right, uh, jury's out there. Next up, uh... <laughs> Uh, let's talk about music. Uh -huh. Junior, what should the tough guy in the street be Tough guy in the street should be listening to things like, you know, uh, Usher, P. Diddy, mm. you know what I mean? A Usher. little bit of uh, Jay-Z, D12, you know what I mean? Songs <laughs> which kind of... Bit of Kanye West. Yeah, you know, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, with the, he's still young, you know mm. what I mean? Mm. But also um, BMX, you know what I mean? Songs with attitude, songs which say, look, don't mess with me. But I'm you the like man. that kind of stuff, don't you? Yeah, I like that kind of stuff, but also, mm. I also like the, the stuff that if you're a real gangster, then, you know, women have to be around you as well. Now, you can't be of a woman and just passing D, M, X, just going mad all over the sure place. Because you, you need to show her that you can do your thing, you know, when the time comes. Let's take, a look, at you. Let's, let's take a look at you doing your thing mm. right now. I'll make love to you. <laughs> like you want me to. And I'll hold you tight, baby. All through the night, I'll make love to you. Like you want me to. What's wrong with you? <laughs> if you got to do it, you got to do it the whole night. Yeah, what have oh. you got to say for yourself there, Victor? Put it this way. Those songs are songs that a man who feels comfortable, that he's a man's man, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Only he can pull no, them off. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to argue with you on that point, man, but you, you, you have them like stashed away way back in your record collection, <laughs> and you just bring them out when you need them. You don't bring them out before. <laughs> and you don't sing them, man. You're like a, you're like a chick like, trapped in a black man's body. What's wrong with you? You should have seen him yesterday. He was doing the old Titanic. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. You should be quoting like things like from Scott. Our face, like, like, come and share a lot of my little friend. Not so I much, was. Not Hold on like, a second, I was. I was, I was saying all yeah, these things you're, 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 but... more, you're more likely to say so. no one leaves baby in the corner. You don't do that. <laughs> Finally, relaxation. Junior, how, how should a real gangster look? A real gangster, well, you know, at the end of the day, wants to chill out with, you know, a club. You know, someone like, you know, some club, cool club down, sort of like in the centre of London or wherever you are, right? Or go back to your hotel, you've got sort of like Cristal, Cavassier, you know what I mean? You've got the finest food out like there. Good champagne, good, good champagne, brandy. Exactly, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, lay down okay. and just be cool, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... Let's take a look at Victor in mm. action, then. <laughs> You're up for a malt drink later? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the slick man. DNA and malt drinks. <laughs> oh my goodness. So wait a minute, you get the woman back, you've wooed her, right, mm -hmm. with the sounds of boy to men, mm -hmm. and then you just go into the little, put some like hot milky drink on to seal yeah. the deal. You know what, you put the hot milky drink because you've got to show her that your style is 
creamy, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? You're smooth, like you could just melt in her mouth and not in her I don't feel well now. <laughs> I don't feel, and the image of you melting it, no, 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 no. Gentlemen, don't worry, it's not for you, Jude. Oh, thank you. Know, I'm going to leave the debate there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's funny, man. See you. <laughs> All right. Hey, Look, we don't want to tell you sure if Victor really is. Uh, a great day, gangster. Now, yesterday we offered you the chance to swap something of yours for one of Victor's famous caps in an item called Bid Brother. So, have you got something to swap? If you have, you could be in the studio later on this week. Do not send us your items. I have to stress that. Just tell us what you want to offer. Here is how to get in touch. <coughs> Yo. After the break, uh, Dan's brother tells us about his famous pout. And Victor's taking your calls. We'll see you in three. Hey, uh, welcome back. In just a moment, we're going to be chatting to Dan's brother and friend. But first time for a new item, The Slick Man Speaks. <laughs> Hello, my people, and welcome to Monday's instalment of The Slick Man Speaks. Every day this week, I aim to educate you, my scholars, to the world of victorisms, those clever, witty little phrases that won me a place in the hearts of the British public. You know the ones. Today, we're going to cover one of my personal favourites. Shizzle, my nizzle. This phrase, shizzle my nizzle, was first popularised by the Gap Band on their 1976 single, Double Dutch Bus. For shizzle my nizzle is a derivative of foshizi my neezy, which is a derivative of I can curve you wholeheartedly, my African brother. To conclude, if someone was to ask me, Victor, would you like a tin of cube pineapple? I'd reply, for shizzle my nizzle. And that's all until tomorrow, when I'll be bringing you the meaning of another one of my favourite victorisms. Yeah, yeah. DNA. Uh, listen, he's not here for the money. He doesn't want to win. He says he'll walk next week if he's still in the house. So why exactly is Dan here? Here to tell us his friend Stefan, his brother Christian. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thanks for coming on again. Uh, <laughs> Christian, um, how do you think he's getting on the house, firstly? I think he's doing fine. Uh, he loses his temper a lot less than he does at home. So apart from that, I think he's doing fine. OK, cool. What about you? I think he's getting on. Um, I think he's coming across as himself, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, this, this, is the, this is the Dan that you know. Yeah, yeah completely. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, he seems to have taken on the role as father figure in the house. Does he, do you have that dynamic in your relationship with him? Sometimes. With yeah. me, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, let's yeah, take a look at protective. that. <coughs> now, you're going to get all that over the diary chair. <laughs> we all need to sit in that room, guys. Go and wash it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's breaking the rules! Right, I want those items now. Victor, get that off. Come on. Um, Nadia wants to speak to you. This year? Yeah. Um, she wants to clear the air. Tea time. McTavish. Ahmed, you, threw, you threw a beaker yesterday. And you're 44 years old, you're... It could have broken and shattered. <laughs> oh, my God, shall we send in The Undertaker? <laughs> <laughs> Start measuring him up. <laughs> I think I'm an old man inside a, a young man's body sometimes. <laughs> Christian, tell me honestly, did he used to beat you up? Uh, no, I used, At all? Be, I used to be helmet. Really? Uh huh. And if you well, were... okay, he did beat me up. Yes, he did, didn't he? <laughs> He's got that, just that look about him. I, I know, I've got an older sister. It's exactly the same dynamic. Uh huh. Now, is he normally so sensible and in control? Uh, normally not. No, he's normally more effervescent, as I would say. But I think he's just like that in the house because there are people in the house who are perhaps he sees as, as less mature than him. Yeah. Mm. So. Is, is you, you know, essentially, when, he, when someone needs to be organised, he's the organised person. Uh -huh. OK, cool. Yeah. Despite Victor going last week, Dan received the most nominations. I found that quite shocking. Why do you think that is? Steph? Well, I don't really know, to be honest. I think um, maybe some people see him as a bit of a threat. I don't know. Um, and maybe because they are quite a bit younger and he, and he is being the father figure, maybe think he's a bit bossy, I don't know. Maybe he's just annoying everyone with his uh, fatherly <laughs> ways. Isn't yeah. He? Is he easy to live with? Have you ever lived with him? No. He sings in I the shower. <laughs> That's loudly. Also the question whether it's easy to live with him. Is he? I mean, you've worked, you've lived with him, yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously. When yeah. I was young. So, yeah, yeah. So not not recently, no, not since you've no. been adults. Okay, but you know, would you say he would be? He can have tantrums, which he hasn't really had in the house. Yeah, yeah. Which are very entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, he should have them. If if he had them, he'd be far more entertaining. If you were in there, would you feel like nominating him? If I was his little brother in there, yeah. I'd probably nominate him every week. Yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> the other night, Victor told Dan exactly what he thought of him. Take a look at this. Dan, who do you think is in the wrong here? 
And don't sit on the fence for a change, mate. In the wrong regarding which bit? Regarding everything, Dan. Regarding huh? everything? Re regarding everything, yeah, go on. Well, my opinion doesn't count, because it's between you and Shell. Ah, oh, OK, Dan. Sit the, on the, the fence, The fine. point is... Sit on the it's fence. ...it's for you and Shell to sort out. Mate, you, you sit on more fences than a... Bird. ...farm ass cockerel, mate. Yeah. So how yeah. do you get mad, then, Dan? How do I get mad? Yeah. You've got to push the right buttons. OK, then. So, so, what, what, so which bus buttons does I have to push to get you mad, then? Because I can do this all day, Dan, if, if you're going to keep leading me down blind alleys. How does one get a reaction out of Dan Bryan, then? The argumentative person. Um, people who aren't pulling the weight, usually. Is that you? Pulling your weight, <laughs> eh? Do you know which buttons to press? I do, yeah. Go on, tell us. Well, if you wind him up about Kylie Minogue, if you, if you really? sign off Kylie Minogue, then he'll That's definitely... That's the Achilles yeah. heel we've all been looking for. Well, De Deborah Harry. He loves Deborah her. Deborah Harry? He loves her. OK, cool. As only a gay man can. <laughs> OK. <laughs> um, how, is this how he, how he reacts in a row? Is he always that sort of calm and collected? No, it normally flips his lid yeah, around. I think it? he was calm there because Victor was wanting a reaction from him and he's very stubborn, so he, of course he's not going to rise to sure. what Victor wants. So, so in the real world, he wouldn't be like that? He'd be... No, you know how Dina yeah. out of Absolutely Fabulous? Yeah. That's more my brother. Right, OK. Yeah. <laughs> Dan said he was going to leave the house in the last week if he was still there. Um, why do you think he said that? And will he stick to his word? We think that maybe he's said it and wishes that he hadn't and that he's probably looking for someone to throw him a line and get him out of there. Really? Yeah, we think yeah. he said it and then he didn't realise Victor would remind him about it so often. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I think he'd probably... I'd, I wouldn't like to think that he'd walk. So no. do you think that was, a, that was part of a game plan or do you think he just said it impromptu one day and then thought, oh, what did I just say I that for? I think he just said I, it. I don't like to see him as that devious, but it possibly is. So, uh... <laughs> OK. Um, if he doesn't leave... Do you think that's going to count against him? If he doesn't walk, will the public then go, hang on a second? You well, no, because it could be part of his game. Oh, they've got to know it's a game enough, as well. It? It's mm. a game, isn't it? I mean... You don't, you don't think people will take it that seriously? How, how's he going to get out of it in that, in that respect? Then? How's he going to get out of the house? Well, no, how'll he get out of what he said? Do you think he'll just laugh it off? And... He'll just laugh it off and pretend that he didn't mean it. Or he'll say <laughs> something like, well, I was, I was stressed at that point in my yeah. life. Do you, you, you think he's going to walk? I don't think he'll walk. You do, don't I don't know. You I don't do, know. Don't I you? really don't know. I think it's, it's like I say, he's quite stubborn, and, and if he's the pressure's put on, and he's reminded constantly that that's what he said, maybe he will do. I don't know. Yeah. But okay. it's quite impulsive, though, as well. He can, uh, he can have an impulsive. Why streak. did he, when he walked in, very, very start, and he didn't re sort of reference anyone, and now you see him, you know, eight weeks down the line, he seems mm. like quite a nice, affable guy. But when he walked in, he was petrifying. When he, you know, walked along the carpet and mm. the crowd were kind of trying to touch him. He strutted him. in. Yeah, he just sort of made eye contact. He's like a six foot five Mick Jagger. Why, why do you think he did that? Why do you think he did yeah. what? The he way he, he didn't sort of, yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he seemed like quite a friendly guy, but yeah, he didn't sort of reference any of the crowd. I think that was his moment. He's probably. That was his catwalk his, his moment. His catwalk moment, absolutely. Mm. For that moment, he'll have been he was one of Kylie's dancers. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's his dream. Yeah. How do you not? <laughs> All right, one thing we'll miss if Dan does go this week is his constant pouting. Take a look at this. Kiss. Mm. OK, very quickly, can you do an impression of your brother pouting? I can't angle the lips, but oh, it is... No, I haven't. He pouts when he drives. Go on, do it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Steph? I can't. I've got no lips. Oh, I've done reminds me. I like the fact he always says something, then waits a millisecond and then Thank pouts. He pouts less in the house. Really? Yeah, completely. OK, cool. He pouts when he drives. And somebody, when he somebody, drives. somebody cuts him up, he pouts. Hey, he's just cut me up. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Christian and Steph, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank OK, there are six people up for eviction this week. Who goes? Yell yeah, decide. These are the numbers to call. <laughs> oh. Today's call, BBLB, is Ask Victor Another Question. Let's go straight to the phones. How are you feeling, Victor? I'm feeling good, though. I'm Excellent feeling very stuff. I like good. this little kind of cubby hole we've got here. Yeah, it's very, you know, masculine. It's classy, isn't it? <laughs> Let's have a go off a brandy later on. But for now, John in Liverpool. Hello, John. Hello, Graham. How are you? Crack and show, mate. Great. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, my question for Victor is, who does he suspect out of all the housemates dislikes him the most and why? Um, uh, John, <laughs> I, I suspect that 
The housemate that dislikes me the most in there would be um, possibly Daniel out of the bunch of them. Because I basically told him that I was onto his game plan and I just, you know, wanted to expose him and I might have thrown his plans off course ever so slightly. And I let him know that I thought he suffered from a very acute bout of verbal diarrhoea. That's why. <laughs> That's a nice death pick there. I, I loved all your diary rooms, John. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Cheers, John. Take yeah. care. Next up, Sasha in Brixton. Hello, Sasha. Hello. How are you? Good, thanks. Go ahead. Hi, Victor. Hi, Sasha. Shizzle my nizzle. Shizzle my nizzle. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to ask you, I just wanted to ask you, now you're out of the house and you might have had, you know, you've got a bit more objectivity, are there any housemates' attributes that you might admire on the sly and want to use them in your own life? Uh, Be honest now. Being honest, no, not particularly, <laughs> because I, I didn't learn anything I didn't know about myself already right. when I went in there, you know? If anything, the person that I, that I do kind of, in a strange way, think, yeah, all right, even though I'm trying to mess up his plans, is yeah. Dan, because it's not his fault if yeah. everybody else is too dense to see that the guy is playing a big game, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. if he can get away with his game and win, I was playing a game, you know, I mm -hmm. came a cropper. But if he's going to play a game and win and no one's going to stop him, so be it. Fair enough. And Thank you were definitely the best in the house. Thank you, I know that. <laughs> Thank you, Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha. OK. Uh, next up, apart from looking at this lovely specimen, uh, we've got Lisa in Wanstead. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Dermot. Hello there. Hi, is that the plastic gangster there? Is it who? The plastic gangster. He's there, right here. Stuff. The what? The, the plastic, plastic gangster. gangster. Plastic gangster. What's yes. your question then, hun? I just wanted to ask, what does your girlfriend think of the way you uh, speak about women and, you know, your previous conquests and whatnot? Uh, my girlfriend thinks that it's actually in the past. You know, the past should stay where it belongs and it doesn't really affect our relationship, really, you know. Stop you there, thanks for the question. Thank That's you very cool. much. <laughs> That's all we've got time for today. Uh, thanks to Ginny Simpson, of course, the slick man himself. We're back tomorrow at six. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>